When you take a look at these gate readings, uh, they they were both at 70 and 70 when we first started the vehicle. So that kind of gave you an idea that um, that the pressure uh, at the 70 PSI on both sides and the uh, ambient temperature of the car was also at uh, 70 degrees. This is uh, Professor Scott Norman from Pittsburgh State University, and this is another micro lesson on uh, AC gauge analysis. I use these videos uh, uh, with the sound turned off and have the students uh, analyze the gauge readings in the classroom, and, I, and we kind of discuss it as a classroom as far as uh, what's going on with the gauge readings. And so uh, if you're an instructor that also wants to do this uh, as a lesson, then you're going to want to turn off the, um, the, uh, the actual audio um, uh, while this is being played so the students don't have the answers to what's going on. And so um, when we're looking at the gauge readings right now, uh, the AC is turned off and the system is equalizing. And it's an orifice tube system, and so the system is equalizing very slow. Now at 40 psi, the uh, the pressure switch is gonna kick uh, closed, and the system is gonna kick back on. And when you look at how fast the clutch kicks on, there it goes. I'm gonna wait here. It's gonna there it goes, and so it the clutch stayed on for like one second maybe, and then it went it hit 20 psi, and 20 psi the low pressure cutoff switch open back up again and now the system is turned off and the system is equalizing again. So mm -hmm. so we're seeing that um, when you're looking at the cycle rate of this, um, the system is cycling uh, backwards. Uh, the, the system is on for maybe one second and it's off for, oh, probably, uh, I think it's uh, at least uh, one to two minutes. So it's, it's off for an incredibly long time. And typically when students are, uh, are diagnosing this problem they're like hey the clutch isn't kicking on the clutch isn't kicking on why isn't the clutch kicking on and so and then sometimes if they turn around and they and they miss it the clutch kicks on for a, a split second and then it turns off and they are uh, very confused on on why that's happened and so the key here right here is that the equalization time is um is you know for an office loop system should be let's say um maybe 20 seconds to a minute. And again, this, equi uh, this, is, this system is not equalizing at all, or it's equalizing very, very slow. So, so, so the problem here is that this is a restriction in the orifice tube. So this is what I call a low side restriction, and the orifice tube is physically restricted is what it is. And so on most um, pressure charts, however, we're gonna get the AC to kick on here just a little bit, and we're gonna watch it one more time. About 40 psi is when it kicks on, so it's cycling at a normal rate of you know a uh, range of 20 to 40 psi, but um, it just stays on just for a second and then it kicks back off again. And so this is a classic uh, orifice tube restriction. On most pressure gauge charts, it says that hey, if you have a restriction, low side will um, go real low, which it doesn't. It cycles off. What I'm doing right now is I'm opening up the uh, manifold gauges and I'm showing that it can equalize. <laughs> so I know that the, that the restriction in the system is between the two service ports. Uh, by doing this, uh, if I open up my manifold gauges and the system does not equalize, then I know what the, the, the restriction is someplace else. Right now, the clutch is cycling off and on. So when you, when you, when you saw, when I just did that and, and you saw the gauges bounce a little bit, um, uh, the, the clutch was cycling on and off, on and off, on and off, on and on and on and off. So again, by doing that, you know that the problem is definitely between the high side and the low side uh, service port. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to shut the system off. So, so the car is off right now, and I'm opening up my uh, valves on my uh, manifold gate shut to show you that the system can equalize, but it's equalizing through the manif manifold valves versus the normal orifice tube.